Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, where you get a daily dose of hot topics in music, entertainment, and reality TV. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out when we go live, when we have breaking news, or when we upload. In today's video, we are talking about the Janet Jackson halftime show at the Super Bowl again. I know, I know, you guys are always commenting, why are people still talking about this? Well, you may recall after the Framing Britney documentary came out, a lot of people were having reactions, including Justin Timberlake, issuing an apology, not just to Britney Spears, but to Janet Jackson. Well, you also may recall that we reported on Scott Lucas saying that it was actually Justin Timberlake's idea, allegedly, to have a big wow moment at the Super Bowl, framing it in a way to make it seem as if it was actually Justin Timberlake's idea, but it was Janet who got the brunt of the criticism and backlash. Well, now we're hearing that the producers behind the Framing Britney Spears documentary is working on a documentary in the same light of the Super Bowl halftime show. They want uh, an expose, I guess, in regards to what really happened. So according to page six, Left or Right TV, the production company behind the blockbuster Framing Britney Spears documentary is working on a documentary about Jackson's infamous 2004 Super Bowl halftime show. So according to a source close to page six, it's saying that this documentary, it's going to be all about the fallout and the suits who effed over Janet at Viacom, the company that owned MTV, which produced the halftime show and CBS, which broadcasts the game. They're reaching out to everyone who was involved, dancers, stylists, directors, everyone, says the source. It's not clear at this moment if Janet Jackson or Justin Timberlake will be involved. That was part of the criticism people had about the, well, at least on the Justin Timberlake side, that he was not involved in his stance in that documentary. People are saying that Janet might have some involvement because she also is working on a four hour documentary with A&E and Lifetime that is set to be released next year. I don't think Janet will be involved in this documentary to be honest with you because as, as I just said, she's working on her own documentary. So I think all of that, all the juicy details of what she would like to share would be there. But as I said to you before, Scott Lucas, a stylist that worked with Janet Jackson for years, blamed Justin Timberlake, said Justin Timberlake allegedly was the one who wanted to have this big wow moment and it changed at the last minute, turning from a, a slip of a dress to the removal of uh, that covering. There are sources that are challenging Scott Lucas's take on the events. So according to page six, another source familiar with the halftime show blasted Scott Lucas's account of Timberlake as not true. Timberlake won't be the only man the Jackson doc will focus on. We're told the film will also cover disgraced former C CBS CEO, Les Moonves, widely reported obsession with ruining her career. So this is going to be juicy, y'all. If you love the Framing Britney documentary, well, this one sounds like it's going to be more explosive and probably more rippling through the, the industry because this, is, this documentary is not just talking about Justin Timberlake. It's going to be talking about some high-powered executives, including, as I just mentioned, Les Moonves, who was disgracefully let go from CBS just a couple of years ago. I am here for it. Let me know your thoughts on this documentary that, that's going to be happening. I guess 2022 is going to be all about Janet Jackson, because if all these documentaries are going to be released at the same time, I'm here for it. Because look, Janet Jackson all day. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out when we have breaking news, when we go live, or when we upload.